okay we're editing again the sheets i made the mistakes in the previous video so this is the how you correctly done all the filters so when you select here the filter and then type schematics schematic okay so this is all the schematic right so this one do not uh select and then drag here because you will select all the hidden hidden object the uh, hidden cells so the way to do it is escape first you select this one copy and then select one by one okay Maybe if you have your faster solution for this one, uh, you can do as you wish and then right click paste special. Okay, so when I uncheck this one, clear filters, only schematic will be uh, have all the NTS. Okay, so maybe I will put also another single line di diagram diagram okay so there you you have a diagram and then sort by by blocks you can also do that by blocks so replace here for this diagram maybe i want to put one is to 20 just an example then one is to 50 okay then copy and then maybe you can place it here paste is special let's check and then clear all look it's a it's a bad a process if you drag that's not the correct way you do it again okay I put one is to twenty slash one is to fifty four. Maybe you have multiple view, views in the sheets. So do not do the dragging part. You do you select one by one, okay? Okay, and then right click, this is special, and then save. So when I clear this one, and then clear this one, so only one is stupid with the single line diagram is changed. So all this, uh, this plan view is not changed. So again, we go to general, another general notes, legends, yeah, we go there. So this one, general notes, general, okay, so you copy also this one not to scale two three four five six uh, again if you have the faster solution for this one and save it's up to you uh, for now for this video this is the only uh, my process you select one more way then general details also you, you can put also so for the details let's say uh, another uh, as shown a one also as shown as shown sample as shown r1 just an example okay to show that you can do this and then okay again you select right click special special okay and then okay i think we're happy with this one clear filter and save now in Revit, you will now going to import or open uh, you can go here active view and then sheets and then select that one i think we have already a uh, template you can open the template this one open okay now we're going to import now 
that sheets import and then select this one pen it will take time to read i will post this one maybe five minutes it took only 15 seconds it's faster than i thought okay and press okay close this one so as you can see here all here is now nts so if i go back here so nts this one so maybe this one uh, let's go back and then i will show this one line diagram and then i know i can open it i show show i know i can open this one um, okay so for example this one single line diagram one is to 50 here i'll copy that one and then go here in sheets and then search cancel and then just copy paste that one and then next so it will open now this one open these sheets <clears throat> So in here, it will not appear yet, as indicated, no? It will not appear. So the ne next process, this is the, as shown in my previous video, we are going to use the PyRabbit to open that one. So this is very important to integrate all the automation process. So as indicated, right, if I open this one and then go to PyRabbit, we're going to select the title block. Instead of selecting this and then you select here, off scale, I'll show you and what will happen. It will appear the 1 is to 20 and 50 here. Okay? Instead of doing that to all the sheets one by one, anyway, let's undo this one. We're going to use the automation tools in Revit and integrate the process. This is the higher level, guys. Wow, higher level. <laughs> okay? So going back to RF tools, ah uh, no no, a pie rabbit sheets, and then open select title block on sheets. Okay, this is the end game. I'll automate all. So imagine you have hundred sheets to select and change to not to scale another scale. So it will take time. It's not a smart process. So here, maybe, what's the electrical? So, I will just select the title block with a specific, with the naming diagram. This is how you automate. So if you have the diagram, all the diagrams will be selected. And then you check. Then if you have, you change also. Okay, I will do it again. I think it's better diagram. Okay, so it's selected already. Then, again, another is schematic. Don't worry, guys. We have all day. Then in schematic, you check also. Check also. Okay. And then... details okay you have the details you check also okay so this is this process is more on you have a beam manager team leader in the company then you will be this will be the, a great help for you and this is a plus points and the, the, the management will really uh, know that you manage all those uh, sheets by yourself yeah yeah not really by yourself but by the team but this job is really for one person. You can uh, do this by by yourself or as a team leader, as a leader in your company. So this this is will show them that you know how to 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 work in the Revit Sheets documentations and how to do it smartly. So anyway, after details, I check and then general, general, general notes also general, general, general. Again, you select again, you check also. I think uh, that's it that's for now. So you will see here all this one will change to to that uh, naming. So when I select the title blocks here, 
is not this is the second step select title block so it's as many title block selected as you can see this will be highlighted meaning that's already selected based on our filters and check check in the PyRabbit software then we will go to the properties that's the next the third step after so it's reading maybe 50, 60% 70% now okay so once this is highlighted then it's finished reading and selecting all the sheets okay let's wait wait we, I have uh, another five minutes video time so let's just wait it's reading 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 I have four minutes now video time capturing limited so it's still reading pump room details so I think we selected a hundred or, or two hundred sheets I don't know more or less time remaining for video capturing is four minutes and 30 seconds don't worry guys I think we can finish this whole up wrap it up in under 15 minutes okay patience time is a virtue what what are you talking and guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'm not gaining any money <laughs> it's just for fun and learning okay Okay, 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 okay. I have three more minutes video capturing. It takes some time. So imagine it will only take you a minute. But if you do it one by one, how many people you need? A lot of people. Maybe four people per each discipline or for the each buck. Water, drainage fire you know electrical so five then you have structure also doing all those changes but you can change it 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 once directly using these automation tools so the good thing about the roots is that the d roots is free but sometimes it will take a little time by Pyra rabbit i don't know if it's free but you can still download this one and have a trial so if you don't have PyRevit, you select the title blocks. Um, I don't know what, I did not try other application to do the selecting title blocks in the sheets. So maybe for now my solution is selecting title blocks. All title blocks is PyRevit. I don't know other software. Huh? Maybe let's try and create a, a video tutorial again for the Revit review, Revit application review. So, I think uh, I have to post this one. It's taking time. I have now two minutes remaining. So, I have to post this because I have to explain you the other part of it once it's all selected. Okay. Okay. Now, it's all selected. So, I made a mistake to select one all batch. So, then the, the, the process, if we step backward, should select per search per per filter so maybe you search diagram then you select and select title blocks per diagram only do not select schematic diagram details all at once so now as you can see all those checks i that i check drawings how many did i check how many drawings that it's actually 122 drawings it took me uh, five minutes five to six minutes before this one this curse cursors can be can be available because before that is loading so why we are using the next step is this once it's highlighted meaning it's the all the title blocks that you filter is already selected shit i have no time okay 
in explaining this one. Maybe I will create additional 